Guys, we're back with another first impressions video for you. This time I'm out with the Sony 70 to 200. This is the G Master Mark II, the newer one, and this thing is pretty, pretty wild, I have to say. It is 29% lighter than its predecessor, which does make a massive, massive difference. It's so light, you kind of forget that you've got a big telephoto lens on your camera here. Now I've got it paired very fortunately with the Alpha 1, which Sony has graciously sent to me. And I bugged them for a long time jokingly, but they did send these two for me to have a, a look with. So yes, I got a permanent grin on my face. This thing is just outstanding. Effortless camera, effortless lens. And yes, just so, so happy to be out shooting with this thing. It's, uh, it's kind of a dream. It's a very expensive camera. And yes, it does keep up extraordinarily well. 30 frames per second shooting speed. Listen to this. Yeah, that's insane. I just took like 45 pictures. So it, it's absolutely mind blowing. Very, very, a, a lot of photos to edit, but this lens um, is what we're kind of focusing on today. And I'm just really, really impressed with it. The handling, the balance is just really, really good. It feels really good. It's internally focusing, of course. And it's got manual focus override, which is fantastic. It's got a iris lock, which is new, kind of cool. And an aperture ring for you video shooters. Really, really impressive. And what's great is a lot of these lenses that are coming in these days, they're getting lighter and lighter, more compact, but they're not sacrificing image quality. And this one is absolutely no exception. The image quality I'm getting out of this thing is phenomenal. It's got 11 aperture blades. It's a constant f2.8 as you know. So it's it's just absolutely beautiful photos. The rendering is just immaculate. Great color and contrast and the sharpness is just absolutely blowing me away. So I'm out here just looking for whatever. There's not too much going on today but I'll throw up some photo examples and some video of what I have shot with this lens for you to see. I'm loving it so far, obviously. It's an A1 for goodness sakes. It's really hard to not have a lot of fun with this thing, I think. And um, coming from the A7 IV, which is a very capable camera. Well, this thing, yeah, it just makes it look like a toy, basically. So thank you, Sony, and thank you guys for watching. And drop your questions and your comments down below, of course, guys. Anything that you wanna see in the review or my overview of this stuff in the future. And like always, make mistakes, be yourself, and get out here and take some more pictures. See you next time.